Now before, now before I start, let me clarify. I'm not going to give you any seductive tips on what to do during the day. And I'm also not a dating expert. That's my first story. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually the opposite of the dating expert. I'm a dating newbie. I suck at dating. I'm, I'm seriously bad at it. Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm still. But, but I, because, I, because of that, I had my lion set of horrible and terrible things. And this is what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share with you all of these horrible experiences of mine and, and tell you tips to not make the same mistakes that I've done. Now let me start with you by telling you a little story. When I first started dating, it was, it was a few years ago when I, was, when, I, when I just started my high school. When I was a young and handsome man. You. <laughs> <laughs>
and then that's the first time I learned body language. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we all served one minute of silence. <laughs> and then she started evaluating me. Based on your body language, you're not really listening to me. <laughs> and that was the last time I ever went out with her. You see guys, these are the small little mistakes that we can avoid during the day to make our experience a lot more pleasant. Now let me start with the, my first uh, suggestion. Now, when you go for a date, when you go for a date, let's assume that you, know, you are going for a date on Saturday uh, at an iron orchard. Always, always <coughs> class to class. You see, I was, there was this one time when I was a in my high school. I, 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 went, I went out with this one girl and I tried to show her that I'm not trying to hide. So I just wear my shorts and my slippers. And then when I met her, she was wearing a beautiful dress, a beautiful dress, makeup, some accessories, and with a beautiful emerald. And then I look at myself. <laughs> <laughs> See, there are always dress to impress. Secondly, secondly, always, always be aware of what you choose for the for dinner. <laughs> if you're clumsy dinner, this matters a lot. Always choose the safer food, such as ugly oil or maybe steak, something that won't get any messier. And the third thing, when you're trying to hold a conversation with someone, whoever it is, always use open-ended questions. You see, when you use closed-ended questions, the conversation, it's very hard for the conversation to flow. And there will be the awkward silences of the casual days, I'm sure you know. <laughs> and, for example, for example, when you're having a dinner, and then you ask her, so do you like the chicken? Yes, I like it. And the conversation. <laughs> but what if you ask? So how do you like the chicken? Oh yes, the chicken is it's very salty. I, I I really like salty stuff and blah 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 blah. blah. You see, this this if you using if you use open ended questions, the conversation will flow. And then you won't have those awkward silences during the day. And the last thing, the last thing, last but not least, always keep it casual. Don't take dates as something very prestigious. Date is just a casual outing with someone that you're interested in to get to know him or her more. It's nothing more than that. I know, I, I know I'm going to be overtime, but my wife will be I apologize to you. <laughs> Where was it? <laughs> you see, when you're, when you're having, when you're having, keep it casual. But don't keep it too casual like you're going with a friend. But also don't take it too seriously that you're going for a Remember, you are trying to be faster. You are trying to get to know her more. So always, always keep in mind that you need to have a, have a decent attitude. Don't, don't, over, don't overreact. Be yourself and be casual. And, I'm, and, I, and I encourage everyone. If you ever, ever go out with anyone, remember, always remember, you are dressing to impress. You are meeting them to impress them and you want to get to, them, to know them more. So always dress to impress. Secondly, be aware of what you choose for your dinner. Thirdly, use open-ended questions to keep the conversation fluid. And of course, keep it casual. And by then you will you will be able to avoid and prevent all of these horrible things. I mean, back to you again. Back to you.